about my new speed, built for comfort, just my speed. A Ford Mustang, modified to set the pace. Man, I could hardly wait to get out in the race. It's got a 289 motor with a special Cobra kit. There ain't nothing on the road that can even touch it. It's got eight carburetors and it uses them all with a four-speed stick that just won't stall. That transistor ignition and power pipe exhaust, this is a machine that'll really get lost. Everything built to make it perform. It may not be hot, but it sure is warm. We took delivery at the factory late one night. It was purring like a kitten and moving just right. We pulled up on the freeway like it was going downhill and started passing the sleds like they were standing still. Then all of a sudden, before I could bat an eye, a Cadillac sedan passed me by. Somebody said, like, that's the wheels for me. But by then, the taillights was all I could see. Well, these cats ripped me for being behind, so I started to make that Mustang unwind. Pushed the foot feet clear to the floor. Said, that's all there is. There ain't no more. rolling out of the back when I started to gain on that Cadillac. I was sure I could catch him and I hoped I could pass, but by then I knew I'd be short on gas. We went around a curve and passed a truck. I pulled out my rabbit foot just for luck. The fenders just missed a guardrail post. The guy in the back was white as a ghost. I glanced over at the chick on the other side. Her face was blue, and I thought she died. But I wasn't worried, because what the heck, by now, me and that caddy was neck and neck. I guess they thought I'd lost my sense. The telephone poles looked like a picket fence. They said, slow down, I see spots. The lines in the road look just like dots. Went around a corner with the tires on the side. You could feel the tension. Man, what a ride. I said, hold on, I got a license to fly. And that Cadillac faded back and let me by. Then I looked in the mirror and saw something coming. I thought it was a plane by the way it was humming. I'd been caught by a helicopter in the CHP. That was it, gang, the end of me. Well, they busted me and threw me in the can, so there was nothing I could do but call the old man. He said, whale in jail, cause I won't bail. Dang me, he told me not to hop up that Mustang. Since the advent of Beatlemania, DJs all over the world have been receiving letters that we're asked to forward to Liverpool. This is the one that impressed me the most. Dear Paul, ever since I saw you standing there on the Ed Sullivan Show, all I ever think about is I want to hold your hand. I've been crazy about a lot of boys, but I never knew that if I fell, it would be so suddenly and so completely. One look and I knew that this boy is the only one for me. Don't ask me why, but there's absolutely no doubt that, baby, it's you. But, of course, all I've got to do is stop and think for a moment to realize all my loving is in vain. You've really got to hold on. you got to see me when one of your records comes on. I twist and shout all the way through it, or else I close my eyes and wish that you were here to hold me tight. It's kind of weird, but until that fab day I get to meet you, I'm happy just to dance with you. My whole family thinks I'm crazy. When they tease me, I can't answer and instead I cry. But lucky for me, there's a place where I can go when I feel low. My bedroom, where I've got pictures of you plastered on every wall. Kissing my favorite picture of you is just like a taste of honey. It's almost like you were right here looking at me and saying, I want to be your man. And at night when I'm asleep, I keep dreaming that it won't be long before I get you. I can just see you reading this letter, looking at my picture and saying, ain't she sweet? She loves you, and I love her. I sometimes wake up the whole house when I call your name. Then I hear the shouts of, thank you, girl, and roll over, Beethoven. Since I dream about you all the time, it very often is a hard day's night. When I first heard that awful rumor that you might be married to Jane, the thought that kept running through my mind was, you can't do that. Besides, my friends and I have seen her in that horror movie, and we all agree she's got the devil in her heart. Oh, Paul, please, please me. Say you'll love me, do. That's all I ask. 
Till there was you, I had no idea what it's like to really love someone. You'd never hear me say, don't bother me. These chains of love are locked forever. Not a second time would you ever have to ask me to do anything. Money is something I don't have much of, but I'm sure you realize it can't buy me love. Please, Mr. Postman, hurry with an answer, the only thing that can release this long, tall Sally from her misery. My friends all tell me why I shouldn't be doing this, and of course I should have known better, but I assure you I'm not a little child and I mean every word. With love from me to you, Anna. P.S. I love you. And do you want to know a secret? Almost every girl I know loves you too. <laughs>